Hi everyone, welcome back. If you do not know, my name is Devin here on my channel, I cover all things beauty. That includes makeup, fragrance, and designing here and there. If you think that is something you'll be interested in, then I hope you stay and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you're notified every week when I upload. And in today's video, we have yet another Bath and Body Works haul, you guys. And yes, this time it is featuring some of the brand new fragrances that are out for the $4.95 sale, you guys. Yes. So we're going to talk about some of the ones that I got and some of the brand new fragrances then just keep so, so before we get into what I got, I did want to let you guys know that I did pick up the Bridgerton collection. I already did a separate video featuring this, but I paid full price for this fragrance when it first came out. So I took it back and got a price adjustment. So it went from the $17.95 that it was all the way down to the $4.95. Plus I had 25% off. So yeah, I got this at a steal of a deal. So I was happy about that. Now, they have so many new collections out and coming out right now. Um, my stores are getting some. Some of them aren't getting anything. Like they really, you know, I don't know. But what I went in store for and I noticed is that they had this brand new limited edition Gingham Unstoppable. So this is the brand new Gingham. Now, if you want me to be honest, I am not a big fan of the Gingham collection in general. I only really enjoyed the ones that we got last year with Gingham Fresh and the Gingham Gorgeous. Those are the only two Ginghams that I actually enjoy. Um, but I seen this one and I was like, okay, cool, whatever. I'm going to pick it up. Not even noticing that this is a cologne mist. So this is really not even for women. Like it's marketed as a man's cologne. Um, and I had no idea. I just thought it was just, you know, a regular gingham. I thought it was a woman's line. Um, but I didn't even read the notes until I got home. I smelled it and I was like, mm mm. So this has fresh neroli, sparkling water, and clean must. I'm gonna spray it. I actually have a couple tester papers that I actually got from Bath and Body Works for the new Brightest Bloom, which I also did a little review on. So I'll have that link below if you guys have not checked that out. But this to me was an automatic no. Is it a bad scent? No, it's actually not a bad scent. It actually smells really, really good, but it's masculine and it's a cologne. Now, some people can pull off men scents masculine. That's cool. I am not one of them. I rarely go for anything that's overly masculine. I very rarely go for things that are heavily like unisex. It just depends. Um, but this is really nice. I feel like it smells very clean, very, very fresh, slightly musky. This actually smelled really nice on my husband, so I probably will be going ahead and giving him this. But as for me, this was a no because I had no idea that it was an actual men scent, okay? So yeah, one that I went in and I was like, yes, please. I didn't even know this was in stores yet. It's the brand new, but not new, Ice Lemon Pound Cake. You guys, come on now, Get this, I didn't even know this was in stores yet, but I'm so excited that it finally is. The packaging is so pretty. It's actually in the same collection as the Strawberry Pound Cake and the Sweetheart's Cherry. This is in the same collection and it's in the same type of bottle um, style. And I actually seen them sitting next to each other, but y'all know I had to get this. This is Sugary Glazed Icing Pure Lemon Zest and Fluffy Pound Cake. Y'all know this is one of my favorite um, fragrances like Cakey. This is amazing. Oh, I love this one so much. It's so, so good. Still very strong lemon cake type scent. I do already have two of these from last year, but I mean, the new packaging is so pretty. I had to pick this up and, you know, hopefully this will be at SAS and we'll be able to get more because this is definitely backup worthy, at least for me. And honestly, I'm probably gonna put one of these in my project, use it up for spring or summer. I'm not sure which one yet because I love this scent so, so, so much. So yes, this is a go, this is a must have. Moving on to the next collection. It is going to be 
this collection okay so i don't know what this is called but there were three fragrances there was apple lavender and musk i did not pick up musk um musk the musk scent actually wasn't too too bad i might go back and smell it again and see if it's worth it but i'm just not big on musky type scent so first we're going to go ahead and start with my least favorite which is the apple if you know me you know i am not a apple girl i picked it up because it said apple and it was green so i'm assuming or i was going to assume that it was a green apple it has apple strawberry and rain in it so i'm gonna go ahead and spray it and it's actually not bad at all it smells kind of pretty. It's definitely a apple scent. Um, it's very crisp, very clean. I feel like the rain note plays perfectly into it being apple. Now, I don't really get strawberry. I feel like if it's strawberry in here, it's very, very faint, it's very light. And I don't really get it a lot, but I do get like this apple-y, very crisp scent. It's not bad, not bad at all. We're gonna go ahead and play around with her and see how I feel about her, but we got that one. Go ahead and to get into the other one, which is lavender. Y'all, I wasn't expecting to like this one at all because I normally don't really like lavender, but my nose is changing, it's maturing a little bit, and I'm able to do a few things. So this one has lavender, jasmine, and vanilla. So it kept it really, really simple with this one. Um, y'all, this one is so pretty to me. Um, I really, really enjoy lavender. Let me tell you what got me loving lavender recently. If you don't know, Starbucks has like these new drinks out for spring and they have lavender in them. And I've actually been enjoying the either lavender frappuccino or I'll get my pineapple lemonade with two scoops of lavender powder and I've been enjoying it. And I feel like I don't know, something about lavender is I'm really coming into it with liking lavender lately. And honestly, this is going to smell beautiful with the fragrance that is on my tray for this month, Mon Guerlain, y'all. I have been loving that fragrance lately. It has been really doing it. So that is the reason why I'm like, let me go ahead and pick this up because I wanna pair this with that. Pull out a little bit of that lavender and it's just, it's really doing it. So I enjoy this one a lot. This one is amazing. All right, so moving along to the last fragrance, you guys, I really, so there's this collection that's coming out with like 10 different fragrance mists. It's supposed to be only the fragrance mist. And I think they all look like this, but this is the only one they had in my store. They actually had the full collection. They had the shower gel and I think the body cream or something. My fragrance mist is actually $18.95, so it's a bit pricey. So I had to go ahead and get it for the $4.95. This is bourbon vanilla, garden strawberry, apricot nectar, pink jasmine, and white oak. You guys, this one is really pretty. I have never had this fragrance before. They said this has come out before in the past. I have never seen it. It's a really, really pretty strawberry vanilla. It's not quite like strawberry pound cake. It's not quite like Gingham Gorgeous. It's not like any other strawberry scent that I have from Bath and Body, that I personally have from Bath and Body Works. It has a combination of different like fruity, sweet juiciness to it and a hint of like creaminess from that bourbon vanilla. It's so good, it's so pretty. I definitely want to get the whole line. I did smell the body cream. The body cream smelled really, really strong. It smelled a lot more strawberry-esque and I just kind of felt like I didn't need it, um, especially for trying to pay full price. Like I'm not doing that. I didn't need it. So if it goes on sale, like a body care sale, body, body butter, body cream, something like that, I will probably pick it up, but it's really, really pretty and it's really strong. So I really, really enjoy this. So yeah, guys, that is it. My store didn't have any of the other collections, so I couldn't get anything. I am going to still be on a hunt because I am seeing that some people 
are able to pick up all of the other fragrances from that collection. And that would have been great to get them at $4.95 and not buy three, get three, especially since they're so expensive at $18.95. But yeah, guys, that is it. Let me know if you guys picked up anything from the Fine Fragrance Mist sale. I'm excited for everything that I have and I can't wait to start using them. And yeah, guys, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.